What up, what up, what up? Without further ado, we're gonna modify this piece. You guys know this is a lower grill <clears> that we didn't install by now. You saw we did the complete uh, front end change, which looks awesome. This piece does not fit with a intercooler. Again, if your car is not boosted and your NA, this piece will fit perfectly fine. If you boost it, this piece doesn't fit because the intercooler pushes up against this. I can show you that by, see the corner right there? And then also is lifting up, you can see it like right there. Uh, and the cooler is is obviously pushing the car, the front of the bottom of the car out further. And I got fat fat in the cooler. Now again, the, the, you could have a version like a example, say your car supercharged or whatever, where this will fit behind it. But this video is for those that want to keep this lower piece and obviously start with the inner cooler. And also have something else coming in. But I need these holes in order to use the piece. So this has to be modified. So this is a brand new piece, okay? I'm not starting out with these pieces. You guys know I bought everything brand new um, for the uh, front bumper conversion. So I can tell you right now, we're cutting out this entire center. You already know that's gone. I'm going to keep these holes right for now. I might cut this piece right here out. Um, and also, we're going to have to trim up the back piece. Because, again, if you look... Like I said, you can see, I tried to put it on before where the inner cooler was hitting. I tried to force it on. So we're going to have to cut some of this. I'll explain. We're going to have to cut some of this. I'll trim this down some. You see what I'm saying? Trim this down some of these pieces. Or this piece, these pieces are going to be gone. We're going to trim up some of this. So I cut like a square, you know what I'm saying? So it can push back further, if that makes sense. Also, for those of you that are wondering how this clips into the front bumper... I'm trying to get, get right there. You can see it. It's a good angle. Right there's those ribs. You see those ribs? Zoom in on it right quick. See that? That's those ribs right there. When you when you stick the uh, front bumper, um, when you stick this into the front bumper, that's what holds holds the clips from backing out unless you force it out. So you don't want to cut so deep that you cut those pieces out. Again, that's going to be a lot. It doesn't really matter. You're not going to be precise because you're really not going to see this this cutting so much because remember, this is the, this is the uh, lower lower grill so you're not gonna see it so much uh so that um you know you're not gonna notice it you're just gonna notice that this piece will be covered but you won't notice any of the cuts or whatever unless you get up on it but either way we still have to cut out some in order to fit this now again that's you can see the slots right here that's where it slots do on the bumper to fit so yeah so let's go ahead and get the cutting again i'm not really gonna show much like i said i'm gonna cut this entire middle section out Cut all this out. I'm, for now, I'm probably going to cut it. It might look weird with this piece. I'm going to leave it in that first. But either way, I'm probably still going to cut it out because all these tabs right here got to go. And then, like I said, you're going to trim up some of this line back here. And some on all this. So let's just get the cutting. I was going to use the Dremel. So I have one. I uh, advise you go and buy one. I bought a Dremel years ago. To have one just for little stuff like this. So I'm going to get the cutting and... I cut up it's extremely dirty as you can see, geez. So keep that in mind. Again, I just cut it, didn't clean it up because I'm just cutting it basically, obviously, to get the fit. Once we get the fit perfectly and you know, the fit with the inner cooler, then we can go in the sand down like some of these edges and stuff like that, you know. But again, it's a lower grill. I just need the bottom portion right here. So you can guys see why I clenched it all uh, right here. She had to notch it some because this was pushing up with the inner cooler on, so it needs it needs more more room. So I just cut. You no, know, again, I just pre-balled it with my eyes, notched all this. I didn't notch the top blade yet because you see this one's like a whole square piece, and this one's actually a blade. So I just notched the bottom ones, including the bottom leg. I don't know for sure it's hitting right here. Excuse me, for sure it's hitting right here. So again, cut, notched it all. You guys can see. I'll cut. And of course, I cut the entire center. That's where I left these holes right here. These holes right here, these would be like your license plate hole if you had to put a license plate on um, in a state. Or if you want to do, uh, you guys know I got mesh. I can put the mesh and use zip ties to hold the mesh on and get to you. But I don't know how this thing is going to look with mesh on it. I kind of like the open look. We'll see. Again, the purpose of this is just to get the fit with the inner cooler. So we're going to go test with it. I didn't cut the center yet at all i didn't get that far because it was hitting right here hardcore so we're going to test fit this thing i take out the front bumper yeah 
and then put this on, not using any pop pop clips or whatever, and see if I can put the bump on with this on. As long as I can get the bump on with this on flush, then we'll we'll go and we don't need to cut any more. It, everything will be perfect. So again, um, guesstimating. I guesstimated how much I need to cut off of here in order to, in order to get the in the cord to to fit flush against here. Again, we don't want you know flush. You get what I'm saying? That's some clearance. So this can get on. And the bumper can slide on with this little piece on. I'm trying to see if I want to cut any more off. I think I'm doing. I think, I think I'm pretty satisfied with where it's at right now. But then again, we don't know until we get the pump bump off and simply slap this on and see if it wants to go on, <laughs> go on if it wants to be aggressive. We'll find out. So let's go ahead and put this on the pump bump and test fit. And here at the car, we got the screws and stuff in there. I'm going to take this pump bump off and then we're going to test fit this piece and try to work it in and see how much more if we got to cut more in order to get the grill to stay flush. This right here is the only section I worry about. We have to cut a little bit more off of it, but we'll, we'll get it on there. Um, other than that, how about the drill right here? That way, if I have to cut more off, I can. No shit. And then obviously, we'll, we'll go from there. So let's get the bump off and let's uh, see how off, we are, how off we are. Or I got it dead on. And also, I got this that headlight, uh, that head, that headlight that I got from Prime Driven, man. This thing is pretty cool. I should have got this thing in a long time because I don't have to hold the light and everything else. I'll right, take this bump off. Uh, you guys can see right here, it fits fine. You can see right behind there. But I do need a clearance right there. I have that mark you can see right there because it's touching. And right here on the back side, it's touching right there. You can see it. You don't want that hose warped because obviously boost pressure is going through that. So I'm going to shave off the back of that. I'm going to cut off. Uh, this section right here, the market on both sides. And I should have enough clearance. You see this number of air to keep this on. So I'm gonna back up and see if I even like it. I even like it, the way it looks. Put this grill on. What do you guys think? I can cut the, the three cylinder pieces off because I don't think I'm gonna put mesh behind there. I wanna keep the lines there because I can cut out the entire center and just have it open like it was. It just had the black piece, the black black border piece. I'm gonna think about it. Cause you look at it like that, you can see the inner color like I like. I don't know, I gotta think about it. Either way, I still gotta trim those corners. There you guys go. Let's cut some more. So I decided to go ahead and keep it like it was. I keep the little end piece, I cut the whole inside out. Also, I trimmed up the back piece more. You know, it's touching right here, so I just trimmed the whole thing down. Then I want to get it flush. I don't have to worry about anything bumping. The only thing I have to worry about, I forgot to do, I need to trim up this. My bad. Trim up this right here a little bit because it was pushing in on the uh, toes on the inner clue. We can't have that. So I'm going to trim this a little bit right here. And we should be good, hopefully. That's what it looked like. I have to find out. Let's trim that up back here. All this dust and corners. I'm still at it. As you can see, I cut this section off right here and cut off the little nipple at that. Looked like that may have been hidden at the top. There could be no reason why it's cut. The section's already cut out. I just cut this nipple off, piled this down some, and then I cut the lip even more down because it's still pushing against the uh, inner color and like the corner. So just cut the whole thing down. Let's try to test it again. If it hits again, then I'm going to have to cut out this section. It's for you guys to be this. I'm going to have to cut out this out on both sides to keep it even. If it hits again. I don't think this top portion is hitting, but it looked like it was hitting like right here. So I went and cut that off. Like I said, I don't need it. Don't need this stuff anyways. Because it's held on by the, the, the rivet holes anyways. And the, the Honda clips. So let's try to test for it again. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, cut the center out finally. Very, 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 very messy, man. So I did some outside. I had to do some inside because I had to change the blade out. Make sure you get a demo tool. Again, it's not the cleanest of cuts, but it doesn't matter. You're not going to see any of this stuff because it's at the bottom. This piece is being cut up. You'll see here in the, you'll see here in a couple of days why. We're just trying to get the fit. Now, it was hitting right here with those things, the inner color uh, actual hoses. So now, should fit straight on flush. I got enough clearance right here. I went ahead and cut the corners too. Even still, again, again, I turned this down a lot. I cut the corners when I cut out this out. 
they should flush, flush right in. I went ahead and cut the center out too, because there's no point in even having that center. Just keep these two tabs just in case if I want to mount uh, some um, mesh. I might test for some mesh to see what it looks like if I have it all apart. And there you go. So cut the whole center out, and hopefully this should fit. Enough plants, enough's been cut out. Again, I was looking at the top. Of, I told you I cut these these uh, two nipples off. You kind of don't have to. Again, they shape a feather in the coat, but it doesn't matter. They don't serve any purpose at all. So, again, you see it? Cut it out. Cut it all out. Very, very, very messy job. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and test right now. Just cut cut it to size to fit. Now, obviously, I got to trim, cut, cut, cut it in half. So, I don't need all that to cover up here. But, again, it's about some mesh. We're going to throw some mesh on and see what it looks like a mesh since I have it all apart. And I got that cut out. And I'll use those two holes to zip tie it, uh, like a puncture hole and slide on, slide on it ease. Just you could use it to slide on those as well if you didn't cut them. But let's, uh, have an idea. I look like a mesh. That's what it looked like. A mesh in it. And obviously, um, it would be held in by the, uh, the clips. It need to be cut, obviously. But, again, just wanted to see what it looks like. What would look like a bottom mesh piece. Again, I don't know if it'll look good with the mesh on the car. I have to make sure that this piece fits first before I even do, before I even get the mesh on. Because all I would do is I would clip it, clip it into the bumper first and then put the mesh on behind it. Then two zip ties right there and the two holes right there. That would hold the mesh in place along with it being flush up against the uh, inner clue or whatever. Let's check it out. Let's see if this piece actually fits first. Then if we can, we'll just try with the mesh to see if I even like it with the mesh. You guys, the bumper is on. See, it's just sticking out a little bit on the side. It's only because you can see it right here. A little bulge. Time you crunch this a little bit more. Right here. And voila, on both sides. And voila, it'll be on there. No, I had to cut those things out. So we're good. So let's go ahead and clamp right here. Cut right here. Cut right here. I'll, I'll cut another strip. I, I'm probably just going to end up cutting like right here. And, and on both sides. And we'll be good. Again, if you don't have an intercooler and you're not boosted, then you have to worry about doing all this stuff to get the lower ground. Again, it don't make sense why I'm doing this here in a minute. But for now, let's get on there. I'm so close. I'm right here. I'm at the end. <laughs> Hold on. If I put the mesh in, it's not fully in. You guys tell me mesh or no mesh. Yeah, it looks like with the mesh. You can't really tell it's boosted unless you get close to it. It's because of the size of the... Uh, the size of the mesh, obviously, the diamonds or whatever. So this is what it looks like the mesh installed. I'm gonna shut the, let me go ahead and shut the thing. I did get the fit, hold on a second. And then I will shut it, give you a look at that, and then we'll do no mesh. So there you go, mesh. Can't really tell it's boosted unless you get close and you can kind of see it again, you don't have it's crazy sunlight either, but once we get crazy sunlight, um, you'll probably be able to see it. And also the mesh helps protect the intercooler from, you know, damages and stuff. All we do is the open look, as you guys saw, which I'll probably end this other picture, of no mesh. But, but the difference is we add the black trim piece on the bottom for a reason, which you'll see later. I still got to take out the pump bulb with the plug in the fog lights or whatever. But... I don't know, man. I kind of like the mesh. I think the diamonds are like a little bit bigger, so you can kind of see the inner color. But again, you can't see the inner color when you get close. You say, "Oh shit, it is boosted." I don't know, man. I let me know. I fixed the wiring and the, the fog lights, but the uh, the eBay fog light kits, just the same wiring harness. The only thing I did was obviously to use the pump up, but the plugs still work. It wasn't working it's because of the plug on the side right here it came unplugged. But plug it back in. Now I get to actually see what it looks like on the fog lights on. So I'm either fix the wire underneath the dash or fix this. Yikes. But um I think I'm gonna leave the mesh in for right now until the other piece comes in and we'll decide then. Y'all let me know down below. Mesh or no mesh. Remember I got the black border piece now because we spent all that time trimming that stuff. It took a long time but we got it in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and rock it for right now until we get the other piece and then we'll decide then. Cool to have the fog lights on. Good to know for those of you guys that buy the uh, fog light kit, a uh, eBay fog light kit for um, 0628. Uh, it's the same picking plugs and connections, same way you wire it. So you don't even need to use the wiring harness, which is good. So cool. So 
Let's go ahead and get this thing back together. I gotta get this side on correctly first, and then obviously zip tie the wire at the bottom. So I'm gonna keep the, like I said, I'm gonna keep the thing in for now. Brandon came in. I kind of used all the power in the car and he had to come jump me. So, we're gonna end this video out right here. Uh, again, we have a part that's coming. As soon as that part comes, you guys will see why I did all this work. And it took me about a good four hours to get done. But for those of you guys that are gonna be boosted, like he's gonna be supercharged, probably maybe do the same thing to his. I used to be some type of video for you guys on how to get that lower grill to fit. And I think it looks a lot better with the lower grill. Then I add the mesh. It's kind of been out here for a little bit, it's kind of growing on me. Kind of, I kind of like it, the mesh. It's <laughs> not the mesh. But I got, again, guys, once that piece comes in, you'll see why we got that work. And again, coming soon, we're going to be starting on his car. And uh, we should have that blower coming in pretty soon as well. So don't forget to click like and subscribe, push the comments down below. If you have any questions, let me know. Everything fixed up. Peace.